It's been a fantastic turnaround season for Des Moines North. Four and two overall, most wins in over 20 years. Toughest test of the season though tonight, at home for the Polar Bears, hosting third ranked Ankeny. And the Hawks waste little time opening drive. Jason Williams up the middle, and then number four is off to the races. No one is catching him. 49 yards. Ankeny out to the early 7-0 lead. The ensuing North possession, Polar Bears trying to set up the screen, but Will Heinrichs has other ideas. Picks it off, and that's six for number five. 14 zip, Hawks about four minutes into the game. Next possession on offense for Ankeny, J.J. Cole across the middle to Jamison Patton. Future Cyclone turns on the Jets. Going to be tripped up just at the five yard line. Can't get in. Williams scores on the next play to make it 21 zip. And then just before the end of the first quarter, it's Williams again up the middle, untouched. He goes for 128 yards on the ground. This is all Ankeny, and that score is correct. The Hawks roll up north 72 to zip. Top five showdown in Pleasant Hill. Southeast Polk and number four, Cedar Rapids Prairie. Homecoming for the Rams, Connor Moberly. Quick slant to Joe Zelenovich. See ya. Seven zip, Rams on top. Kids love it. Later in the first, Prairie. Deep in its own territory. Quarterback looking, looking, trying to do something, but he's going to be sacked. Fumble. Tavian Collins recovers for the Rams on the goal line. Next play, it's an easy touchdown for Abu Sama. Rams lead 14 zip, and like I said, the kids just love it on homecoming. Hawks looking for any kind of offense, but we've got ourselves another fumble. Sama scoops it up, and he's heading the other way. Open field for number three, a couple jukes, a couple broken tackles. He's taking this one all the way to the house. SCP pouring it on. The Rams crush Prairie 41 to zip. A big game in Ankeny. Joaquin Northwest and seventh ranked Centennial. First quarter, Brady Grisham powers in from six yards out. Just follow that big offensive line, get across that goal line. Wolves lead 14 zip at the half. Third quarter, the Jags get one back. Easton Miller, right side, five yards into the end zone. Cuts the lead in half, 14-7, but it's too much from Northwest in the end. The Wolves get a big one, 20-14 over Centennial. High school coaches, teachers, and administrators don't make a lot of money. Many have a second source of income. ACGC head coach Cody Mathewson found a way to combine his football passion with a fun side gig, Mathewson Mini Helmets. Cody and wife Aspen run their own side business out of their house, creating mini replica helmets for high schools, small colleges, and more. About 100 schools from 16 different states have jumped on board in ordering. Word is spread throughout social media, so the business continues to grow. Well, anything you do, it's as big as you want it to be. Um, and, and so, if you're passionate about something, you put time and effort in something, then it can be something that really takes off. Um, you know, I, I think it's a, a market that's always going to be there. Football is always going to be there. I, I think the time I maybe have to stop doing it is if I run out of, you know, storage and helmets. The Matthewsons also create window decals for businesses and schools and even give a percentage of sales back to that ordering school. Boys State Golf, Class 4A from Elmcrest Country Club in Cedar Rapids. Round one in the books and the Warriors of Waukee lead by two shots over Indianola and Johnston. Northwest and Southeast Polk also in the top six. Final round tomorrow morning in the cold. After starting the season 3-0, Iowa State has dropped two straight. Cyclones trying to avoid an 0-3 start in the Big 12 for the first time in six years. Special teams and offense need to be better. Globally, offensively, you know, we've been a hair off at times and we, we need to be a hair on to be better. Um, so, you know, that's not just one group or one unit. I think that's the global whole and, and a little bit of it is the, the, the way the game has flowed the last two weeks. I'm excited to play. Uh, I know that it's a big rivalry. I know that we go back and forth with these guys. So, um, yeah, I'm just excited to finally experience this kind of rivalry. I feel like we just take it one game at a time. Like every game is, every game is a big game. So that's how really that's how we go into this game. Farmageddon Saturday night under the lights at Jack Trice Stadium against 20th ranked Kansas State. 
The Hawkeyes seem to be at a crossroads in their season as well. Iowa 3-2 and two overall. Offense still struggling mightily with the Big Ten West up for grabs. Saturday's game at Illinois now much bigger than anticipated. Coach Bell told us after Saturday, he was like, everything you want is still in front of you. I mean, we have uh, we wrote down our goals at the beginning of the season. One is to win the West and make it to Indy. So, I mean, all of that is still in front of us as long as we, you know, go into each week and come out with the win. Obviously, like, undefeated season's not, like, not possible. But right now, we just need to focus on the game ahead of us. Um, uh, he, we haven't really talked too much about any, anything's wide open. We're just focused on trying to get in there. And I, I talked about it earlier, but every game's a must-win game. And uh, right now, continuing to just do that week in and week out. Hawkeyes in Illinois, Saturday night from Champaign. Kickoff set for 6.30. Iowa is a three-and-a-half point underdog. Friday night, Big Ten football from New Jersey, Nebraska and Rutgers. We've all waited for it. Fourth quarter, Huskers down 13-7. Casey Thompson up top to Trey Palmer. 27-yard touchdown. Big Red leads by one. A defensive interception seals it after that, and Nebraska is on top of the Big Ten West. What? 14 to 13 over Rutgers. The college basketball season is still a month away, but the Cyclones are already down a man. Temple transfer Jeremiah Williams will miss the entire season with an Achilles injury. Williams was in the mix to be the Cyclones starting point guard. Iowa baseball coach Rick Heller receives a contract extension through 2029. Heller has coached the Hawkeyes for 10 years, averaging 30 wins per season. So